Coronavirus disease, or most commonly known as COVID-19, is a disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. The people infected with this virus may experience symptoms like mild to moderate respiratory illnesses, dry cough, and loss of taste. The elderly and people with underlying medical problems such as respiratory diseases, cancer, diabetes are most at risk and will most likely catch the virus if they do not know how to keep themselves safe during the pandemic. The sudden outbreak alarmed many people in which the government, private firms, and multilateral organizations work together in order to produce an effective vaccine to be distributed as soon as possible. Immunity in times of pandemic is very important because it is the only way we can resist the disease, especially when there is no cure yet. As people get older, their immune system gets weaker and making them more prone to acquiring illnesses. Teenagers are the ones who are most protected since their immunity has developed completely and has not weakened yet. That is why they are not the top priority when it comes to receiving the vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, when the vaccine gets in the market, the ones who will receive it first are the most vulnerable or exposed in each country, which includes the healthcare workers and the elderly, and soon work its way down by age group. In a press release in Pfizer News, they stated that the vaccine made was more than 90% effective, Although there are still a lot of things we do not know, such as how long is its effectivity, what are the effects of this vaccine in various age groups, and whether it completely stops transmission of the disease. If the vaccine has been approved and has shown promising results with not much risk, then that will be the only time that the mass vaccination should be administered, because we have to ensure that it does not do more harm than good to the people. Thousands of people around the world are affected by the COVID-19 virus, affecting the economy and the daily lives of the people. The vaccine, which is currently at more than 90% effective, is more promising than expected, Although there are still a lot of things we do not know about it, that is why further tests are needed to ensure the safety of the people, and that it will not do more harm than good. The future vaccination will also prioritize the most vulnerable and exposed. That is why teenagers are not the top priority when it comes to administering the vaccine. We have started to unravel the mystery behind the coronavirus, but there is no assurance that everything will already go back to the way it used to be. As Sarah Bosley from The Guardian said, I think there's no doubt we're on the road to normality. We just don't know how long that road is.